Hey gang, Scott here. Well, Skylum has released Luminar AI Update 2, and the marquee feature is improvements to Sky AI, namely reflections. So a scene with a reflective surface, you know, water in the foreground, a fountain, or an ocean, or a lake, or a river, whatever it might be, reflection with sky replacement. So you drop in a new sky, the reflections are detected and handled automatically. It's quite an impressive feature. I'm going to show you how it works in this video. A couple things about the sky replacement that I've noticed so far is it will work very, very well with water reflection. So you have a top to bottom kind of reflection scenario. You're in very good shape. It's not there for, say, architecture or buildings where you may be looking at a reflective glass surface on a city building and there's something you know, reflecting from the other side, you know, a sky, cloud, so forth. That's not there yet. The AI is tuned for water reflection. So if you're a landscape photographer, you're going to love this. And there are some interesting improvements for people in natural scenes where there are reflective surfaces. There's some sliders that have been added to give you some more controls. So let's have a look at Sky AI in Luminar AI Update 2. So here is a scene with some very nice reflections, but the sky is just empty and boring. Not a problem with Sky AI. Let's grab a new sky here. This one looks nice. And notice the reflections. The first thing I want to point out is, you know, we have this bright area here. Look at these reflections down here. And notice how the texture of the water is maintained, right? Let me just turn this off and on. Off. And then on. And that texture in that water is maintained. So this is not just a, a replace, mask everything in. There is some really good intelligence happening here. Well, now let's do some refinement. We have our orientation. We have uh, some things that are the same, horizon blending. We have a vertical offset. We, we can shift this up and down. And I think I'll shift it a little more so we're getting more of that sky and less of the horizon line. We have our horizontal offset right now. We can shift the sky around. I think for this, I'm going to put this, uh, this brightness part kind of over here. And for uh, it seems we have uh, not a straight horizon. If you did like a portrait or something uh, more artistic, you can rotate the sky. Mask refinement. Now, many of these controls are the same. Uh, the closing the gaps and the global helps with the seams that are long here. I want to zoom in up on these antenna and pay attention to fixed details. Now, this will be very subtle. hope this comes with the video, so I'm going to push it really far. But what fixed details will do is help to maintain the very fine details where the mask matches. Maybe this antenna here. We can pay attention to that before those details after those details. This is a harder one to see it on, but scenes that have tree lines or uh, subjects hair at the horizon, fixed details will help get that mask looking really, really good. Move into scene relighting. We have our relight strength. We can you know, increase the relighting, decrease it. You can change saturation. Relight human is a new slider. I'll come back to that with a different photo to show how that works with a subject a human subject where you have a, a sky replacement going on, but you can relight the human separately. And of course, the reflection amount itself, you can dial that down or dial it up. For this scene, I want to make it a little bit uh, more prominent and get that nice warm tones coming in on the sky. And finally, we have adjustments. We can defocus atmosphere. Grain is a new control in Update 2. Let me zoom in here. So the reason you have grain now is if you had a photo that was taken that had grain, this one's pretty clean. But if you had a photo that had grain, you can add grain to your sky and pop it up really far so you'll see that grain show up. That will let you make a more realistic blend if your source photo has an amount of grain. This one, I don't need that, but now we have that control as well. So the sky replacements are very, very easy, and the reflections are just wonderfully done maintaining texture and nuance in the surface of the water. Let me go back to Sky AI with that Relight Human slider. So you see the photo here with a person, and let's choose a Blue Sky. That's pretty good for this scene here. And uh, even take a look at the little bits of reflection that were picked up right above and below. So the reflection before and after, it's doing a pretty impressive job there. But uh, scene relating, we had this relight human slider. And so the AI underneath recognizes there's a person there. Let me push this really far. If you see a dramatic change, it's like 
not exactly what I'd want for this, where the person's getting a little bit you know, underlit. But you have this ability to fine tune the relighting of the scene. If for whatever reason you wanted to do like some really heavy relighting of the scene to match a sky, but then you needed to back it off of a person or just have the people lit differently than the rest of the scene, you've got that control. And so that is another nice addition to Sky AI. So that is Sky Replacement in Luminar AI Update 2. The big new things, reflections. You have reflective water surfaces in your photos. Sky Replacement just got a whole lot easier. The reflections are managed for you. So fountains, streams, lakes, all stuff like that. The reflections work very, very well. You've got new controls. You have fixed details to get those fine details like tree lines or a hair for a, a portrait outside. The sky replacement mask gets refined with that. You also have a control for relighting to change the way the relighting affects people and not just the scene as a whole. So you have another option for environmental portraits that is really powerful. And yes, all of these things can be saved as part of templates so that you can apply them you know, again and again on different photos with different looks. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.